Welcome to City Council 360. I'm your host, Kim Womack. On this edition of City Council 360, learn more about recent City Council actions, including the replacement of police vehicles, affluent line expansion, and a change in City Council meeting times. With Ford Motor Company no longer producing the traditional police sedan, the Corpus Christi Police Department has chosen to integrate the Chevrolet Tahoe into the fleet due to a number of features and overall value. This Tahoe is going to serve us well. We understand the $907 difference per car, which results to about $17,000. You're asking to purchase 19. Uh, but we, we think that we're going to get more use. And incidentally, we believe that we can drive that car longer. Uh, you know, a, a city sedan will probably go about 100,000 miles before we need to start looking at taking it out of service. Uh, we believe we can get at least 125,000 miles out of the Chevy Tahoe. And so that upfront initial boost of $900, we, we know that that's, you know, that's a concern. But we think on the back end, uh, we'll win with, with better service and we won't have to buy you know, it'll be more durable and we can get more mileage out of the truck. And then finally, uh, the truck comes with a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, whereas the sedans are going to come with a 336. So uh, we, we believe that by purchasing the Tahoes is going to be a better purchase. Uh, for the public's sake, I'm really glad that you went through that thoroughly. It sounds like it's a good fit for you to do your job right yes. and protect the citizens and frankly for us to be able to get a higher percentage of uh, trade-in value on it and in the back end we'll have a net positive as opposed to the s sedan so thank you for that. Another action taken recently by the City Council is the expansion of the affluent water system on the south side of Corpus Christi. The new infrastructure will reduce treated water usage for green spaces and allow for a potential revenue source. Project scope, uh, the red line that you see there is a, the, the missing gaps in the system, if you will. Uh, the, the line up Cimarron to the King's Crossing area is in the ground, as well as the line out to Bill Witt. Um, you know, neither of those are ready to receive effluent water today, but could in the future once we finish this project. And as part of that, it would deliver effluent uh, reuse water to Corpus Christi Country Club as well. Thank you. Uh, this is a wonderful, exciting project. I know it made all the difference in the world to the golf course out on the base, and I think it's wonderful with the, the with water crisis and drought to, to see us working forward with this, and I, I yes, look forward to continuing it. Thank yes, you. The final action we'll look at today is the approval to move City Council meeting times from noon to 11.30 a.m. Uh, item 20 is a request by the mayor to change the meeting start time from 12 noon to 11.30 a.m. Um, the requirement in the current council policy is that the council has to concur or has to approve a meeting time change, so that's why it's on the agenda. And uh, part of the reason for this change is to try to accommodate uh, the public to have um, the best chance to come and express their concerns or their, any communications they may have regarding um, this city hall that belongs to them starting at 12 o'clock will have public comment. For more information about recent City Council actions or to watch meeting replays, visit www.cctexas.com. Thank you for joining us for this edition of City Council 360.